Hello, for this problem we have a power screw. Uh, it's being used to lift a 12-pound platform. Um, <clears throat> based on the information below, so I've got the diameter of the screw, threads per inch, and the coefficients of friction here, I want to figure out what's the required torque that we need to lift the load um, at a constant rate, uh, and also <clears throat> would the load fall if the torque is removed from the shaft? So if I turn off the motor, is the platform going to stay where it is or is it going to fall down? Uh, and for that, I'm going to need to determine if it's a self-locking system. All right, so step number one on all this, um, I've got all this information, but I need to find the lead angle. That's going to be kind of the first step in my analysis. And so for the lead angle, the key uh, pieces of information here, I've got the diameter of the screw and the threads per inch, um, so that I know if I've got 12 threads per inch, that means for every one inch that I'm going up, I'm going around the circumference of the screw 12 times. And so that means I've got pi times the diameter, 0.375 inches, times 12, because I go around 12 times each inch I go up. And so that means I go around the screw a distance of 14.1 inches for every one inch I go up. Theta, right here, is my lead angle, and theta is going to be equal to the arc tangent of 1 over this 14.1 right here. And that turns out to be about 4.05 degrees there. All right, so that is my lead angle. Um, and next, I'm going to kind of plug everything into my big equation. Um, so the torque for a power screw we need to lift that load is going to be equal to sine theta plus the coefficient of friction, mu k, cosine theta, and the theta is the, the lead angle there, over cosine theta minus mu k times <coughs> the sine theta. That gets multiplied by F load times the radius of the shaft. All right, so <clears throat> if I plug in mu k of 0.16 and my lead angle here, this whole piece right here turns into 0.233, and it doesn't have any units um, for any of that, times 12 pounds is my load force, times the radius of my shaft is 0.375 over 2 inches. All right, so plugging in all those numbers, torque is going to be 0.52 five inch pounds of torque. So that's a, a fairly small number um, and this is what's needed to lift the body. All right, so to determine what's going to happen if we remove the load, we need to determine the self-locking angle. All right, so theta locking for any particular system is simply going to be equal to the arc tangent of the static coefficient of friction between the bolt material and the nut material. Um, so that coefficient of friction was 0.16. Um, so if I take the arc tangent of 0.16, I find theta locking is equal to about 9.09 .09 degrees. All right, so that lets me know that any lead angles above this number are going to be not self-locking, uh, aka they would fall back down. Anything below this is going to be a self-locking system, uh, aka if you let go of the torque, remove that, um, then it will simply stay where it is. So with a lead angle for us of 4.05 degrees, that's below the self-locking angle, and this whole thing is going to stay still. 
Alright, so that's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.